So here we are. I'm ready to test this nuclear experiment. We're going to use just a regular can of Raid for ants and roaches. I assume it might work for these too. They're also insects. I can't imagine that these things would be able to withstand this stuff. This, of course, is not an organic product, but I'm kind of looking for a knockout punch here because I want them dead right away. I don't want to wait three days for them to die. So uh, we're just going to test this on here. Hello. He's going down into the stem. You probably can't even see him. He's in there moving around. See him? He's moving around just a bit. So um, I'm going to spray some of this Raid into this Dixie cup here. I'm going to syringe it out. And then um, I'm going to drop it in here and see what happens. Okay. Right back. Okay. So there is our vine borer. He's squirming around. We're just going to bring our needle in here and we're just going to uh, kind of drip it right on him and see if uh how fast it takes to come oh he did not like that look at that i'd love to see that just a couple drops there not even he has definitely stopped moving i don't know if he's dead but he's definitely stopped moving. Let's see. So there is our squash vine borer. He is no longer moving after his appointment with the raid can here. This is just ant and roach killer. This is, I've had this for a while, so I don't know what the market equivalent is for it now or whatever. But you know, I didn't even put much on him. As you see, it was just like a drop or two and that was it. And he stopped moving. He's not moving at all. I'm not even pushing the button. It's just kind of dripping out the end. Uh-oh. Where'd he go? So there it is, folks. No more vine bore. This is what I was looking for. Just a knockout punch real quick. Kill shot. Gets rid of them. That way they don't keep eating. You see? Those ones that I had in the jar in there, they died, but it took hours, days. You know, they can get pretty big by then. Other vine borers can get in there by then. I understand this is not an organic product, and I'm not going to get into organic versus chemicals. There's videos out there where everybody claims everything is organic or whatever. I'm not going to get into that debate. I'm just going to say that just a couple drops here has stopped the squash vine borer immediately immediately so something to think about you don't have the organic aura but geez i mean that bt that concentrate i got was basically 20 bucks what are these like five or six bucks a can and you probably wouldn't even go through most of it because again just a drop or two you go and just take the needle and just like drip this around those wounds and that they're gonna die immediately you're not even going to have to cut open the vine, probably. You just stick it right in where they are and boom, pump a bunch of it in there. Just fill this thing. Actually, you probably don't have to fill it. I bet you could fill it to two or three there for even a big one. It's going to kill it immediately. That's what we want. So that is my conclusion of the RAID experiment. It is far more effective than BT. And, of course, a lot less expensive. So there is our test subject here. He still has not moved a muscle, if they have muscles or whatever. He has not moved one bit. So he is dead. We're going to pronounce him dead. We'll come back later and check, but pretty sure he's gone. So just got back and wanted to show you where the vine bore is, the one that I dripped the raid on earlier. And he is right here right between those tweezers see that he's gone one drop of that raid instant death so the raid worked very quickly and very effectively compared to the BT. The BT, however, is an organic product. Raid is, you know, kind of controversial. 
I only used a few drops of it, just a little spritz around the base of the stems here. I didn't spray the whole plant with it. If you're trying to keep the moths, the squash vine borer adults, the moths, if you're trying to keep them off your plant here, you still might want to use an insecticidal soak, something that's more organic like uh, spinel sed or something else that could keep them off. I don't think BT works on the adults. That's for the larva. Um, again, you can use either of these products. I wanted a knockout punch. I wanted to know those things are dead. And I want to know that they're dead immediately so that I don't have to lay awake at night thinking that my pumpkins are outside being eaten as I lay in bed. So uh, I think the raid was really good for that. If they come back, I'm gonna use it again. But I think I got all of them. And I'm gonna put the uh, covering back on because I just can't be home all day today. And when I come home tonight, I am gonna use some of that uh, Captain Jack's insecticidal soap on this, just uh, maybe to keep the moths off because I'd really like to take the cover off. And then I'd only have to put that netting on. See that? teal netting I have. I have to put some of that on everything to keep the squirrels out, but uh, they're less of a problem than the vine borers. They just nip the flowers off a bit, and sometimes they nip the flowers off that I want to use to pollinate, so that can be a problem, but uh, other than that, yep, uh, Ray did the job, and it did it quick, so if they pop up again on any of my plants, I'm going right after them with that syringe. Again, you only need a few drops of it. You don't need to spray the whole thing, so you don't have to worry about it being too toxic. They do make a gar garden and like a garden and insect one that's made more for outdoors maybe i should get some of that and test it maybe it's a little more friendly to the plants but again i'm only using a few drops of this and i'm just you know a few spritzes of it down where the base of the stem is and like like you saw in the video the other one it only took just a couple seconds and it was dead dead gone not coming back that's what i wanted so anyway, in conclusion, I will stick with the uh, raid just for the base of the stems. I will spray something organic on the leaves to keep the moths off. And I will continue using this cover here as needed. And uh, that's my conclusion. Feel free to leave some comments about it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. And have a pleasant day and a great harvest.